Curriculum of ERPP Courses can be developed and should be developed for developing the competency of students who are engaged in research and publication. Um, language support centers or individual academic departments need to have places where the students can be given formal training of how to write for publication. Uh, specialist trainers are also needed for this purpose um, according to specific areas of research. And then the role of language developers uh, um, comes in here, especially of business English teachers, business communication teachers, and how to give support to doctoral students and other researchers about language. How should research be applied to pedagogy? This is also a concern of ERPP curriculum. Uh, there are two aspects of this discursive task. First is to uh, create and communicate the research and, uh, uh, and communicate it to, uh, to people uh, through the research article. And then to bear in mind the needs of the gatekeepers. Uh, the gatekeepers are the reviewers or knowledgeable people of uh, belonging to the area. So the needs of students is to communicate their research through a research article. Uh, here, uh, generic writing skills are needed such as argumentation, coherence building and uh, abstracting. And then uh, the researchers need to be familiar with the structures of the genre uh, which they aim to uh, follow in their research. Then uh, command of discipline specific citation language uh, needs, to be, uh, command, uh, need, needs to be taught. And then the meta discourse, which signals one degree of uh, commitment to the statements which are made as, uh, as uh, cited by uh, uh, citing Kwan here. Cor uh, using corpora is another area which can come in very useful for uh, teaching ERP, uh, ERPP skills. Uh, here students are asked to create their uh, own personal corpora of research articles which are specific uh, to their particular uh, disciplines. Um, then the, this corpora can be used as a, a research tool um, uh, in order to look at it as a generic model uh, to be followed. However, uh, the supervisor or the language supporter, he or she needs to uh, teach the students how to create a balance between reusing the uh, phraseological uh, patterns um, and or copying long sections of the, to uh, of the text, which would become a case of plagiarism. Communicating with the gatekeepers, that is, uh, the reviewers uh, need to have a command, students need to have a command of the occluded genres and also to understand that reviewers' comments are often indirect. So, uh, they need to be taught the ability to interpret these indirect comments and to carry out the revisions accordingly. Besides this, a strategic research competence is also uh, needed by the researchers. Uh, that is a command of the disciplinary uh, academic rigor. And then the ability to find a niche, uh, a gap between, uh, uh, between the various researches uh, uh, which the research article would be able to fill. Then the ability to relate appropriately to the international community, what the international community of that specific discipline uh, needs to have uh, in order to uh, in order to see the gap which is there to um, topics which are too local would perhaps not have a chance of being published in a international journal strategic man management of research and publishing has to do with managing the time cycle uh, the researcher needs to know how much time would be needed for writing and then for the uh, reviewing process uh, then to ensure uh, the required amount of publication uh, which the institution needs, uh, what type of publication, whether national or international, and uh, the number of publications which are needed. Then to know the relevant journals in which to publish and also about uh, other journals in case that uh, one journal rejects the publication, so in order to resubmit it to another. Another publication possibility is that of a uh, joint publication uh, with a supervisor. Um, uh, in the science disciplines, this is, uh, this is quite a, um, a normal thing where papers are published by teams of people. So competence, uh, however, is required here in a joint publication about uh, how to divide up the work and to decide beforehand who is going to uh, do the uh, references, who is going to do the write-up and so on. 
so competence in publishing thesis in progress is another um, area which needs uh, to be taught uh, for example those publications which have to be uh, done during the um, uh, process of the doctorate then the structure of thesis as a series of uh, articles so in this screenshot here we can see that the various competencies which are needed by the doctoral student are given for example communicating one's research through an research article communicating with gatekeepers about the research article strategic research conception and strategic management of research and publication writing for publication forms an integral part of uh, scholarly formation uh, publication is english is on the rise and therefore the competencies we have been talking about they need to be done uh, through the medium of the english language uh, there are few universities which offer erpp courses and uh, wherever we see such uh, uh, such uh, facilities being offered they are mostly offered by individual departments or language support centers um, the problems which el students uh, or they um, will remain they would keep on having uh, needing um, more and more support in english because they have to publish in it now this is a challenge for the business english teachers um, they have to fill the gap which is offered by erpp they have to up their game because the field is there in which a need has been identified so they need to respond to this challenge